Hi, uh, this is Chinmay Padidar from Hotwix Developer Network, welcoming you all uh, to another learning session on Mocky. Today we will be covering uh, another session on the services, and uh, it will be on service wrappers. So, first things first, uh, the services are the main unit of logic uh, of the Mocky framework. We can say it, uh, we can call it as a heart of the Mocky framework. And um, so the next question would, which would come up would be that what is a wrapper service? So uh, there is not uh, uh, no uh, uh, predefined uh, definition, which I could say for a wrapper service, but one which with which I have come up is of uh, that uh, wrapper service is a, a code which encapsulates or uh, wraps uh, any existing body of code and uh, has the and it has its own ability to act as a standalone service as well so in a simple statement i would say that a group of services uh, which are logically binded to form another service is called as a wrapper service so uh, not uh, not to Go with the theoretical approach. We'll be directly diving into the Mocky framework and would be seeing few of the implementations uh, for the wrapper services. So the first one would be a, a very simple example. Like uh, in the Mocky, we do have a service to create a person. So here, uh, this we can call at uh, as a simple example of a wrapper service. Because for creating a purpose person, uh, we also need to create a party as well in the Mocky framework. So uh, let's go with the with the example of the, this service. So this service is actually the create person, and uh, it has few of the in parameters and out parameters which we have already discussed in the in our previous sessions. And going with the implementation of the service, so the. the uh, the definition clearly says that uh, we can see that one of the service call has been made to create a party uh, having an in map with the context plus uh, one more map being prepared uh, we will come up on the various ways of how to uh, actually call uh, pass on those uh, parameters to a service uh, but yeah just going with the, uh, just uh, covering it on a a very broader scale we can see that for the creating a person we have implemented uh, calling of uh, we have implemented in a way to create first create a party and then create a person so this is a very uh, a good and a simple example of uh, how to create a, a wrapper service uh, where we are actually incorporating uh, two or more services to actually uh, get a desired result uh, depending on the use case or the business requirement. Uh, for a more uh, lengthier example, the another one is of creating a person customer. So here we are actually, uh, we would, we can say that for this use case, we are having a, a lot of uh, information regarding the uh, customer, like it can has his name, uh, his uh, roles, uh, role types, and uh, uh, his address and the contact details and the email address. So, uh, for so here we can see that for, uh, depending on the use case, one of the wrapper has been implemented, where uh, we are actually uh, fetching. Uh, we are having a lot of details and we want to uh, we want to actually put it into the system. So uh, this is an, another example of the wrapper service. Uh, let's see something. Uh, uh, a more uh, deeper into it that how actually it works uh, like for uh, for in the previous session we also talked about how to actually pass on uh, the value uh, uh, the parameters to a service uh, by calling them so we can see that uh, one of the service which is the create person has been called here with the service call element and we have we can see that the in map is also a context and out map is also a context. I have added a few logs to demonstrate it uh, so that it would be a more clear. And uh, so we can see that here is a service call being made. 
and uh, the out map is context here and on the, another line just skipping the logs which i have added uh, in another line another service call is being made so uh, this is uh, an intelligent system be, uh, being built in the mocky framework where we can call that uh, we don't need to actually uh, take care of how to actually uh, to take care of preparing the maps for the services being called uh, individually you can simply pass on the context uh, and uh, uh, logically it will be just uh, the execution would be going perfectly so uh, let's see uh, this into an action like uh, for here i have actually uh, already uh, with the service reference i have already uh, on the service detail of the create person customer uh, service and i am just simply passing the first name and last name and uh, let's see that uh, how it goes so i'm simply running the service maybe due to the lag you won't be able to see this uh, but yeah so here is the i have run the service and let's uh, go into the logs so that it would be more clear so here i uh, you can see the first log which i have i added was the in map and uh, here let's go ahead and uh, find the party id so here it is the, uh, initially the party id was uh, blank this is due to the fact that uh, uh, this service al also takes the party id as a parameter so initially uh, here we can say that the party id string was actually null and uh, then in the another log we can see that uh, when the service uh, create person ran the party id uh, the create person uh, actually the out parameter of the service is actually a party id so this out map of create person is having the party id and uh, now this will act as an in map of store party uh, contact info so we can see that uh, how intelligently the uh, parameters got actually added to the context and uh, then this is the out map of the store party contact info here also we can see that uh, uh, if we actually will be if you are going to dig into this uh, that you would be seeing that few other uh, out parameters of the service store party contact info get set into the context so this is uh, we can see a, we can say that an intelligent system being uh, executed here where the services actually get their in parameters from the context is itself uh, the developer do not uh, need to actually uh, declare each parameter map individually for each service call um, let's move ahead to another example so here this was the one of the service which i have taken a uh, reference in the previous session so let's go and uh, see that uh, how the entity CRUD services and inline map can be formed here. So the service is the create shipment item. I will directly go into the uh, uh, definition of this. So here we have made a service call uh, and the name is of create uh, shipment item. But uh, when going into, uh, when looking into this, this is actually a CRUD service. So here we are at a point that uh, we need to actually uh, have a look first that what the mocky doc document has to say for this so uh, this is something that uh, i am referring here that the service uh, facade supports the crud operations based solely on the entity definitions so for all kind of the crud operations on any of the entity you simply need to uh, call the service uh, in this manner like for creating uh, with the create uh, and uh, hash and the, uh, the name of the entity. So this, uh, when we'll search this, you won't be getting any kind of service already uh, declared in the Mocky framework, but this is something uh, we can say that uh, intelligently built into the framework that by directly calling the CRUD operations and the entity name, you can simply call the uh, CRUD operating services for any of the entities. Uh, how to distinguish uh, how to distinguish that whether uh, it's a crud service or uh, uh, 
a, a already declared service. So we can see that uh, there can be uh, other examples. Uh, so one of the way which with which I have actually uh, which I try to distinguish them is that uh, in the service call when we will be going into the name, uh, we can see that the format is a, a bit different here. Like here, we are starting with the CRUD operation name and the entity name. And here is the, the exact path of the service uh, where we can find the already declared services. So this is something uh, how to distinguish between a CRUD operating service and uh, an already declared service. And uh, another example here would be of uh, how to actually uh, create an inline map while calling the service. So it's not mandatory to always pass the context uh, as an in uh, in map for providing the in parameters so you can simply uh, you can simply declare the in map like uh, done here uh, where you would be providing the uh, the parameter name and its value so uh, the framework aut uh, automatically detects the type and the in parameters from this map for the service being called here this uh, this can also be found from uh, uh, the XSD, where in map it clearly states that uh, it creates an in parameter with variables matching the name of service in parameters. Also, it also detects the uh, type, and it can it all uh, by default it converts the type as well. So yeah, I hope uh, uh, there won't be. Uh, is there any questions related to? Uh, uh, till what we have covered it so uh, so that otherwise we can move to the another section okay great so let's dig into one more one more example where we can part pass a, a custom map while calling this uh, uh, the inline services uh, for a wrapper service. So here I have taken the example of create payment transition and uh, again directly jumping into the uh, definition we can see that uh, we have used the script tag and uh, a groovy syntax for uh, creating a map and uh, we uh, we have actually uh, initiated it using by uh, the context and uh, uh, we have removed few of the uh, parameters already present there and we have directly called the service using the nmap and providing the map variable name which is available so this is an example of uh, how to actually call a service using a custom map and uh, I hope, uh, there is one more example of uh, where we can provide the context and few additional parameters. So uh, let's see this example. Here we can see that uh, one of the services is being called. And in the in map, we have actually prepared, the, uh, we have passed on the context plus uh, one more map being prepared. So this is also another way how to uh, initiate the in maps where you can provide the context and uh, the other few parameters which are, which are available and uh, required for the service. So this is uh, another example of doing it. So uh, we can see that there are kind of various kind of uh, ways or approaches with which we can implement the wrapper services. And uh, we can, uh, depending on the use case or uh, making it the code more developer friendly, we can actually uh, uh, take the uh, appropriate approach so again uh, we can see an, another example of uh, that uh, where a custom out map has been implemented so this is a service where uh, which is of for the find or create party postal addresses and it uh, uh, the out parameter is a contact map id uh, we can see depending on the conditions uh, we are uh, uh, we are having one condition that whether the the postal address is the existing one or not. So we can see here that uh, out map is not being set as the context and uh, we are actually, uh, we have prepared a map and then we are setting the out parameter 
from that map. So this can also be done. Uh, I would say uh, here that uh, you can simply set the out map as the context and not to set this feed. Even that would have also worked. But to make it more uh, developer friendly, uh, this has been done here that uh, to fetch the out map in the uh, in one of the custom map and then setting the value of the out parameters. Uh, moving on to the another example uh, with which we can implement the wrappers. Uh, so here uh, I'm taking the example of how to uh, use the implements element which are available. Uh, so the thing is, uh, we will also see it in uh, the service reference. So uh, we can see in the uh, while declaring the service, we have said that uh, uh, it implements another service, which is create contact request. So uh, the the thing is that uh, with with such kind of uh, declaration, we say that uh, all the in map in and out parameters of this services become the in parameter and out parameter of the service which is implementing it. So for example, we can uh, see that uh, the create contact request recapture, we, uh, we ha haven't declared the in parameters and the out parameters, uh, but we can, uh, the service actually implements the create contact request. And for create contact request, already the in parameters and out parameters are declared. So we can see the resemblance here that uh, uh, the in parameters of the create contact request becomes the in, in parameters of the create contact request recapture. So this is another example of uh, how to uh, implement the wrapper services. Uh, so And also you can uh, declare the additional parameters which are required for, uh, uh, for the wrapper service as well. So uh, another question which would come is uh, when to use the wrapper services. So what I would recommend from my side is that uh, uh, we should try to use the existing out of the box services as much as possible uh, because uh, they have been implemented with a, a, a broader aspect and uh, uh, keeping all the uh, uh, keeping all the uh, use cases in mind, but uh, depending on the business uh, requirements or uh, a particular use case, we can implement the wrapper services, which uh, actually incorporate uh, the existing services so that it would be a more, uh, it would implement a code reusability and uh, we can achieve the business requirements as well at the same time. So. Yeah, Pranay, uh, that's it from my side regarding the wrapper services. Uh, yes, uh, we can say it as a thumb rule that always to check the out of the box uh, uh, implementations or finding any of the existing uh, out of the box services uh, rather than starting directly starting uh, creating a, or implementing a wrapper service. So yeah. Yeah. So. Uh what what uh, what we understand here is like wrapper you can definitely go on and write your own services for uh, for actually addressing the requirements but at the same time you should always be making sure that uh, underneath you are using the already available logics wherever possible especially obviously the cred operations are going to be used that way but at the same time the other possibilities should also be checked uh, yeah, that is it. Right. So we are open for any of the Q and A. Yeah, well, if no questions are there, we can wrap this up. And again, uh, as uh, Stegoflow is there, many of us are there, you can go on and ask questions there as well. We can do the discussions there as well. Uh, I guess, yes, this is it, Chinmay. Thank you so much uh, for the presentation. Yeah. And thanks to all the participants as well for their presence this morning. Thank you so much.
थैंक यू